Hi everyone, here is Relink SU27. It can be controlled by different transmitters. Today I'm going to introduce how to use Relink T16D or T12D to control SU27. You can see all the accessories are installed on SU27. And SU27 is installed with Relink Flight Controller by MDB, which supports standard sparse or PPM signal. So we can use receivers from other brands to control SU27. Just make sure your receiver supports standard sparse or PPM signal. SU27 RTF version comes with R8XM receiver. And R8XM is compatible with T16D or T12D transmitter, so we use R8XM mini receiver and T12D as an example. Here is one dB flight controller. Sparse or PPM channel is connected to the receiver. Channel 1 is connected to the left servo, channel 2 to the right servo, and channel 3 to ESC. You can refer to the connection diagram on the screen. Now bind the receiver to the transmitter. Power on T12D. Enter in several settings. RF settings protocol RHXM supports FHSS V1 protocol, so I can only select V1 protocol here. You can refer to the chart on the screen to set the correct protocol for your receiver. And then collect battery to SU27. Make sure the polarity is now reversed. And long press the bending button of the receiver. The LED flash is fast. And the LED of the receiver goes solid. And then we can see the signal tower on the screen of T12D, which means the bending is successful. We can see the LED of RHXM is purple, which means it is in sparse working mode. Bottom A supports standard sparse or PBM signal, so they can work together. Then set the transmitter. Enter advanced settings. Type. And we need to set that win. And the general settings. Reverse. Set the direction of channel 3 throttle to reverse and other channels to normal. And enter general settings. Auxiliary channel. And I need to assign a 3 position switch for channel 5 and a 2 position switch for channel 7. So I assign switch A, 3 position switch here, and the switch D, a 2 position switch for channel 7. Make sure switch A and the switch B are not used to control other channels. And then Enter transmitter settings, switch settings. We need to make sure switch A works at a three position switch and switch D works as a two position switch. And return to server display. SU27 has three flat modes which are controlled by channel 5. Switch A. Push switch A up, it is stabilized mode. Push switch A in the center, general mode. And push switch A down, manual mode. And the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7 in the transmitter. So I assign switch D, a two position switch to control the motor, and I'll introduce the details of motor lock later. When you use other brand transmitters, please refer to the picture on the screen to lock or unlock the motor with the switch of channel 7. And by the way, you cannot set any mixing in the transmitter because there is already mixing in BIMDB. If the mixing function is set in the transmitter, there will be conflicts of mixing and affected flights. After setting the transmitter, power on SU27. Connect the battery. Make sure the polarity is not reversed. Keep SU27 still. The self test is down now. And the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7. I've already assigned switch D to control 8. Push switch D down. The motor is locked and there is no throttle when you push the throttle stick. And push switch D up. The motor is unlocked. The motor emits two long beeps, mean the unlocking is successful. And push the throttle stick. 
it responds well. And BIMDB needs to calibrate the attitudes to ensure the balance status. It is recommended to lift the aircraft nose with about a 20 degree angle for beginners to ensure smooth flight. And I place a box under the nose, like this. And then push the left stick left and down, right stick right and down, to calibrate the attitude. The green LED of BAMDB flashes once indicates the calibration is complete and the attitude calibration will be recorded by flight controller once it is complete with success. When using transmitters from other brands, please follow the steps on the screen. After the attitude calibration is done, test the surface, push switch A to the noise, the manual mode, and then check if the movement direction of the aileron is consistent with the joystick movement. And move the aileron stick to the left. The left aileron and tailoring lift, but the right aileron and tailoring pressed. Move the elevator stick down. All the ailerons and tailorings lift, which means the movement direction of the control surface is correct. When the movement direction of the aileron is inconsistent with the joystick movement, please adjust the surface by pressing the button on the front of bind DB. Here it is. After you have done all the above steps, you can fly SU-27 aside.